Hopefully your day's off to a nice start. Let's start with your weather headlines. It is a chilly start to the, uh, the work week today. Tomorrow as well. I mean, nothing crazy, just a, a touch below normal. Normal's about 58 or 9. It'll probably get to about 55 or 6 this afternoon. Tomorrow will be close to normal as well. So a cool start. Showers tomorrow evening. Not a lot of rain. Probably just a couple of showers here and there. After about 8 or 9 o'clock into tomorrow night. That's actually a warm front that's going to move through and get ready for a big warm up. It actually starts Wednesday into Thursday as well, and it might peak on Thursday. And of course, Thursday is Halloween. We could be approaching 80 in the afternoon on Halloween, so it's going to be a mild evening for the trick or treaters as well. They're not going to have to bundle up. They can just go with their costumes. All right, you're 24 showing some cloudiness this morning, but then we're going to see sunshine developing this afternoon. It kind of ran right through it here. But nevertheless, temperatures in the mid 50s with a decent amount of sun this afternoon and then just a few passing clouds overnight tonight. Uh, in terms of your temperatures, of course, we had a warm week. Look at last week. Every day last week, temperatures were above normal. That was nine days in a row with readings above normal. Yesterday, actually right about where we should be, a couple of degrees below, but for the most part, uh, more seasonable, certainly for the back half of the weekend. And yet again, of course, it has been so dry. It's been now 15 days since we've had any meaningful rain. We've got to go back to Sunday, October 13th. And although we have a few showers moving in for tomorrow night, it doesn't look like we're talking about any widespread heavy rain or anything like that. And because of that, we are normally dry or even a moderate drought across the area. It includes all of Western Mass and a good chunk of Eastern Mass actually in a moderate drought. Notice parts of Connecticut, the central Connecticut, they've had a couple of rain bouts. And the Cape has actually had a couple of our rain situation as well. We didn't pick up much at all, but no big rainstorms are indicated of a couple of shower chances. Again, one comes in here for tomorrow night out ahead of that front. It's cool today and tomorrow. Then Wednesday on the other side of the front, the breeze picks up out of the south and that's going to bring in the warm temperatures. Mid 70s on Wednesday. I might be a little bullish here, but I wouldn't be surprised if on Thursday, Halloween, a couple of towns in the afternoon at least approached 80 degrees and then Friday will be cooler with maybe another shower chance, a few showers in the morning before we dry it out in the afternoon as we head into this upcoming weekend. So it's really during the daylight hours anyway, maybe Friday that we'll have to deal with some rainfall. And then again, it would be Tuesday night and Wednesday, but all day Tuesday is dry and all day Wednesday is going to be dry as well. That's going to come in at night. Uh, we have a weak front making its way through. It's actually bringing some flakes and flurries to Vermont and New Hampshire, but this front will just fall apart as it does so. So we're going to see increasing amounts of sunshine as we go into the afternoon. We'll go partly to mostly cloudy tomorrow as a front approaches. That's the warm front, but the bulk of the rain with it probably across Vermont, New Hampshire and into eastern Canada. We're on the uh, the bottom, uh, I should say, southern side of this front, but maybe just a few showers at that point. So today about 56, tomorrow 55 to 60. We'll go mostly cloudy in the afternoon. It does become breezy. Elevated brush fire threat today, probably tomorrow as well. They'll have some clouds around in the afternoon and hopefully we can squeeze out at least some shower activity. Not as chilly tomorrow night. We're probably going to start near 50 on Wednesday and look at it in the afternoon. We're into the low to mid 70s. How about approaching 80 by Thursday for Halloween? It's going to be dry and mild for the trick or treaters. Rain comes in maybe late Thursday night into Friday. Hopefully we can squeeze out maybe some beneficial rains. Right now it's just like a few showers and then it turns breezy in the afternoon and cooler as we head into the weekend, the first weekend of November, the weekend that we go back to standard time. We set those clocks back Saturday night before you go to bed. All right, another check of the forecast in a few minutes. Amanda and David, back over to you. Dan, thank you. New developments now in a big national story. Fans of McDonald's getting some good news after a bad week for the company. Last week, locations have not been serving quarter pounders due to an E. coli outbreak, and that's putting them now back on the menu. That's because McDonald's says it has ruled out the burgers.